So, uh, yeah, I, I basically, I became radicalized by the army. I mean, I joined and I was like, you know, I was like this punk rock kid and listening to his music, but I didn't really like pay attention to what it was actually saying. And then I got in the army and I started reading books about what was going on. And that's kind of how I got radicalized. So I got a, a pretty profound love for literature and music and, and messages through, through word. And, you know, ink and paper is definitely stronger than bombs and bullets. Um, Army so, didn't teach me how to read. No, they don't teach reading programs. <laughs> but, uh, no, I was a Calvary Scout, and like Garrett said, they, they really did tell us that we were going to just camp all the time and be really cool, and it actually really sucked. I hated the cab, and I hate it to this day, and uh, I hate everything it stands for, and I hate its history, and uh, this song is basically about that. Someone asked me one time, do you know the Battle of the 19 Delta? I said, no, I don't know that one, but I got one of my own. Rico! Sit right back in, I'll tell you a little story about the worst little story you ever heard. About a group of young men loaded up with blazing guns and the mission to still live in Earth. Well, they called it up to say the American way, a red, white, and blue mountains to the seas. And the American way continues to its very day through the efforts of our U.S. Calvary. Yes, indeed. Manifest destiny. The land made for me and you, and of course, little baby Jesus, too. With spurs of flashing and sabers, rather they hunted all the natives in the land. Well, they hunted them in the plains, and they killed them in the woods, and they hunted them up in the mountains. Some brave fought back, and they fought real hard. In the end, it was all just the same. But what the cavalry didn't kill, they imprisoned all the rest of the land of the American dream. Get out here, Indians. Crazy Indians. We need this land. Posterity. Subdivisions, shopping malls, yeah. gated communities, great victims of the American dream. Wars got bigger and the price got bigger than the land. So the pigs in suits rounded up all the troops and the moth goes die in the sand. So the boys with swords stretched in their old horse and they picked up a shiny M16. And they hopped in trucks and had machine guns go pick a fight in the Middle East. You know what they say? What's our oil doing under sand anyways? Well here we go again. Single song dance never ends, my friend. Well, the scouts were tough, but the mission was rough when you're trying to enforce democracy. And you can't win friends when you're kicking down doors and hauling off into families. Ah, uh, I just forgot this whole verse, so I'll just talk some, you know, about the Calvary. Didn't John Rank, John Wayne, was he in the Calvary? He was a cowboy, he was a World War II veteran here. Well, the scouts were tough, but the mission was rough when you're trying to enforce democracy. And you can't win friends when you're kicking down doors and hauling off into families. <laughs> but speaker is the game when oil is the game. You should be taking some candy from the baby. But who would have guessed the Alchemist defense when a movement resists the Gemini? Well, it's no surprise, dummy. People don't like being pushed around. So what you think, dummy? That I ride to take it laying down? Oops. It's your arm.
Yes, sir. This is what happens when you liberate people at the tip of a gun. There was no flowers. There was no parades. Those Iraqis aren't stupid. They know it's an occupation. Not a Griswold Disneyland vacation. Five years of war and what did we achieve except for turning good people into enemies? You know when Cav got home, they were given plastic first, a few amputees and bad case of PTSD. You know the only thing left from Dallas Force of Baghdad is the legacy of brutality. And I can tell you before I go from my experience in the Cav, an old Colonel Custer kissed my ass. Just the reason we were scouts on the final bout and you know you're explosive history. Cause there ain't no pride in dying as a bully as a trooper in the U.S. Cavalry. Yeah. U.S. Cavalry, that's the truth for the U.S. Cavalry. It's about to finish this game, I can tell you with the grant. Fuck on the U.S. Cavalry! Woo! Recon! <laughs> 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 <laughs>